everybody. This is Grim Reaper here. Told you guys on the last podcast with Magic Tech Review that uh, I had switched carriers and switched over to uh, Verizon uh, prepay and went with the HTC Desire 530. Um, not a bad phone. On their website, they're still running it for uh, $160. However, my local family dollar had it on sale for $24. Um, not a bad phone at all. Yeah, a lot of people are going to say, what the hell, with the 1.5 gigs of RAM. But honestly, I haven't noticed an issue. I've run Pokemon Go, Battlestar Galactical Squadrons. Um, oh, where, let me grab it real quick here. Give you guys a look at it while I'm sitting here, too. This thing. Um, let's see. WWE Champions, Golf Clash... Planet of Heroes, Star Trek Timeline, Star Trek Te Trexels, 50th Anniversary Edition. I've ran them all, including Pokemon Go, with absolutely no problem at all. Um, it's a 5-inch screen, as it says here, 720 by 1280. Yeah, a lot of people are going to say, oh, but it's only a 720 H uh, HD screen. Again, it's not bad at all. It has 16 gigs of internal storage, which is fairly good for a prepay phone. Most prepay phones that I've seen, you're lucky if you get 16 gigs unless you go with Cricut Wireless. Um, 22 milliamp battery works fairly good as long as you're not doing any extreme uh, gaming sessions. Um, when I go out anywhere with it, I know I'm not going to be anywhere near I can charge. I take my mobile power bank with me that Keeps it charged up fairly well. 8 megapixel front cam. Um, I think it's a 5 megapixel on the rear. Um, it supports all the Wi-Fi standards, of course. Um, it supposedly has an FM radio, but I cannot get the FM radio to work. Um, there's not even an FM radio app, and the radio apps that I have used... Um, they don't recognize the phone, so it's kind of a toss-up there. Um, volume-wise, it's not bad. Let me pull up my, my music player here, and I'll play something for you real quick. Um, let's see. Come on. Updates are downloading at the same time as trying to load up music. Just as an example for you here. Music volume's not that bad. Yeah, it's only a single speaker, but the audio quality is not bad. You get a decent headset, it does have a um, audio system on it where it will detect your headset and adjust audio output accordingly for the headset so that you get better sound. The headset that I'm wearing right now, um, I get extremely well audio from. Um, and this is basically just an El Cheapo $20 or $12 headset. It's a century, but it works, no problem. Um, but again, back on the phone. Um, it is Verizon. Um, I've actually gotten better coverage than I had with either my Boost phone that I had. Um, and I even hate to say this because I love cricket. But I'm getting better reception out here where I'm at over in the canyons and that than I did on cricket. Um, but... Anyway, that's just my quick dirty review of the HTC Desire 530. Leave a like down below. Leave a comment if you want to know anything else. Um, and I'll respond as soon as I get it. Have a good one. I'm out.